So the title of my talk is Performative Reintegration, Embodiment and Community Building in Contemporary Conflict Transformation. Performative reintegration um, was part of my doctoral research and the result of eight years of collaboration with NGOs and the Colombian government in developing methodologies to work with ex-combatants of guerrilla and paramilitary organizations in the reintegration process. I've worked with former child soldiers, I've worked with women and men, adults, who were part of um, the Revolutionary Armed Forces of Colombia, the National Liberation Army, and the United Self-Defense Forces of Colombia. These are all armed organizations of different ideological strata um, that are, some of them are still active in the war. And uh, as I mentioned before, I'm interested in using embodiment and art practice to facilitate the process of transition on how they become civilians. Now, let me tell you a little bit about myself and the context and the background of this work. I'm a, an applied theater researcher with a focus on peace building and transitional justice. Um, I have a dance background. I was a performance artist and I have a PhD in theater and performance studies. I was a classical ballerina for 10 years. And after that, I've been engaged in different art forms, from flamenco to belly dancing, which I still practice. And I have um, an extensive background as a performance artist and um, some international collaborations with artists from Mexico and the US. Um, when I think about the body in terms of dance and how does dance practice contribute to conflict transformation, the main idea that drives my work is how the body is a center, the central stage for social transformation. And what that means is that through the body we experience relationships, we build relationships with, with others, and they, th the way in which we relate to other people, they affect who we are. And the way in which we relate to other people also informs institutional care and community building activities. And that is the way in which I bridge dance and peace building. Thinking about the body as the center stage of, of the way in which we live life, but also the way in which we relate to each other. Um, so I've mentioned this. Uh, and by focusing on the body as the central element of relations between people, we can enhance social care. And what I mean by social care is like all those institutions that actually work with communities, whether it is in, I don't know, nursing facilities or mental health or everyday life kind of care practices. How can, by focusing more on how the body feels, how the body reacts to other people, how can we improve care practices and improve the process of building communities and transforming lives of people. Um, so these are the brief elements that I'm very interested in, in in Clyde's conceptualization of stillness and dance. What I find very interesting in the notion of stillness when thinking about social change is that in life you don't know what's going to happen and pretending that you know, this is what I'm going to do and this is how it's going to be, it can be very damaging. So if you have someone who has been used to living life in a certain way, grow up in a jungle, um, learning about armed, um, activity, armed group activities, relating with people in a certain way, when you break down that kind of life, that community-based living, and then you have to move to a different place when you're an individual, when you don't have that support network, where you're just yourself, you need to slow down to be able to observe, you need to slow down to be able to engage, and it's important to slow down to be able to notice what is going on in, inside of yourself and how you can take care of yourself in the process of not knowing what's going to happen, in that moment of openness where everything is possible and where the only certainty is change. You're going to be changing all the time. So you've mentioned um, slow down. 
that interplay between inwards and outwards, what you were talking about. I came here, I was like with all this rhythm and just by focusing on myself, I could kind of pace down and then notice what was going on outside, maybe prepare to what, um, what kind of interactions so we can listen better and perhaps hear as well. Stillness as movement as, and as possibility, both in dance and in everyday life. So by just taking a brief moment, um, there is a huge potential for transformation. And something very important with, with the element of noticing oneself is how by that preparing oneself and really being aware of what's going on and how you feel, you can engage with the context differently and observe how what we perceive um, is always mediated by who we are. So there is no objective observation and slow it down, it helps um, to be able to engage in that way. And something very important in terms of care providing or, or for people who work in the care sector. And um, when I've worked with um, people working directly with ex-combatants and I was a, a, a facilitator myself at some point, one of the most challenging things is actually looking at the person and appreciating the experiences and not trying to impose or transfer our own fears or our own expectations and really observe the person and appreciate them for who they are and the process they're going to. Um, so that slowing down, taking a bit of a time to really engage with the other is crucial um, in, in these processes. Now all this theory of dance, what I, what I find is the most fascinating is that it's really connected to conflict transformation theory. So in conflict transformation, one of the key elements is to observe you have to observe the institutional patterns, the cultural patterns, the social network, the political landscape, and then you can make an intervention. And that process of observation can take years. And then you engage as an actor in the process as well. So it's always this interplay between inwards, who you are in this context, and the outwards, really observing what's going on. So you can be part of that transformation and change. And um, before we engage in actual activities a bit more, um, I would like to leave you with this quote, that stillness is a tool of aliveness. We're in the moment of each gesture, curious, while fully attentive to one another. Okay? But the main, or the, the core principle, is to find that point of connection and awareness of the impact that we have in someone else's life, you know. We are constantly um, having an effect on others and people have an effect on us. And then by becoming aware of that, you know, on a daily basis, then, and we just go back and think about that every day, hopefully, then there might be some change. And that's the hope. Mm. But the, the main idea, or at least in my work, is to, is to create that awareness of interdependence through different ways. And always in a very playful way, so that you don't see the serious stuff coming until it hits you, right? <laughs>